Okay, so back to the world map. We have more of these to do. More treasure roads. Dig and explore a maze of fences. Uh, no. I pick that up, don't I? Cool, so the one, apparently the ones that don't have little entrances on them are the ones I cannot enter. So I have to enter it from here. I didn't see the goop on the ground. I was blinking very heavily. Okay, cool. At least it lowers this down. Last one. <sighs> then we can get in here. Is that it? Just the maze? Yes, it is. Of course, it's one minute. Who cares? I believe we have one more of these treasure roads to take care of. Uh, over here, Dragonfire. I gotta melt the ice and hit the thing at the same time. Then I also gotta go fast. For the most part, though, this seems very tame. You know, and then I get hit. And then I get hit. Well, I have to let this whole thing go, and if you miss a single one, it, uh, it'll suck for you. <laughs> Don't touch me. Okay, it's still going. I didn't know if I, like, off-screened it. Drop me right on top of it. I shouldn't have to hold the up button. So I don't know how you do that faster, considering the thing is always on a strict timer, and there's no way you can possibly do that faster. So, sure. My instinct is telling me that there should be something up here, and there's just not. Uh, but finally, this level... A rival mall staffs. Okay, staff side, not staff mall. Staff side. Uh, this is very interesting. There's like an abandoned mall. I mean, all, everything's abandoned in this game, but like, oh, trailer moment, dude. Trailer moment. This game's atmosphere is so good. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything on the outside. You never really do miss anything on the outside, though, so... A live old mall in the desert. <laughs> but still the happy music from the original. Yeah, everyone's dead! Let's celebrate! Oh god, and the escalator is like, it's all covered up with sand. As long as this mall doesn't have the uh, eat four donuts thing. 
We'll be fine. Alright, you know what? I have to. Because, according to the last level, something might happen. Okay, confirmed there's nothing there. But I had to know. Oh shit. It's the employee side. As the name of the level suggests. Here's where all the dark secrets come out. We're gonna find some dead bodies back here. Hold on. You know what? No, I wanna keep this since we just got it. We hit we used needle in the last level. Also, this this level feels like a, a Yoshi's Crafted World moment. Ice cream. Tastes three different kinds of ice cream. Ah, well, we still have the eat kind of thing in this level, so... I just finished having some ice cream. Want to go back to work tomorrow? Should buy more ice cream. A hole for me! Um... Nice. Uh, let's hope I didn't need that cone anymore. I don't think I needed that cone anymore. There's this hole. Uh, can Kirby just go in? Now we need to find something circular. A ring mouth, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe? They're still giving you volume one capsules this far. Okay, there's the ring. As if I didn't know how to, that I should come back. Bonk. Thank you. There's one little hidden guy. Hold on. Doesn't this little part of the wall... Hold on. Doesn't this little part of the wall, the immediate thing I first thought of was, like, that one character from the Spongebob chocolate episode where the, the little, like, spinal column sitting in a wheelchair? That's what that thing on the wall reminds me of. Is someone what? I need a soda machine there. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, there's also something behind the machine. Which is more things I don't care about, but I pick up anyway because it's fun. <laughs> Please stop. I'm still making sure I'm looking out for, uh... Some, you know, hidden stuff. Hidden ice cream. Oh, so why is this, you know, just a, a hole in the wall here? There was no, There's no en entrances that I can see in here. This is like a, a room from Portal. Just like a hidden computer room. Not seeing any, like, sparkles or anything. Oh, 
Sadly, popcorn is not ice cream, unless you have popcorn flavored ice cream, which is not something I've heard of before and probably exists. I just want butter flavored ice cream. Which at that point you should just eat butter. Ow. Oh wait, my ability. Stop it. Okay, so there's a secret door there. And there's a waddle D on the other side of this wall. Ah, oh, wild bunkies! that I have to peg some things after I'm done with you. There we go. Defeat Wild Bonkers with the Cutter ability. Oh, well, thank you. That's why they put Cutter right outside. Uh, there's no way this is another Waddle Dee, and it might be more blueprints, which I'd be surprised if it was more blueprints. Wow, it's more blueprints. Wild Hammer. I'm just throwing the blueprints at you. Well, sadly, we have to get rid of our toy hammer, but let me get the dress up as bonkers. Uh, I need Ring Mouth again. Clock. You don't think I don't see the clock there? That's the way to go. Uh, do I have to knock down the clock from the opposite side of the wall? Yes, I do. Ice cream. Uh... I don't know if I should hit you. If you respawn, that means I needed you. Alright, cool. I'd love it if I could find the last bit of ice cream, because I feel like we're coming up on the end. I didn't mean to pick that up, I was just walking in that direction, but... Too bad. Okay, so I hear the last Waddle Dee. I need something to fit in there. Oh, the ring mouth needs to go that way. Oh, there's definitely the last ice cream over there. Maybe. Definitely maybe the last ice cream. Do I have to fit my giant balloon self in that hole? I sure do. <laughs> nice. Little underground cafe. Don't mind me. Just minding my own business. He can stay. No thoughts, head empty. Good, got the cone. And we got the ice cream, cool. I can make that. Another cone for me. Oh, wait. Fit through all the holes using mouthful mode. Okay, so I think we got everything. Yep, we got everything. Finally, a level that we did first try this stream. More Wild Frosty. Stop it with the PTSD. You don't need to show me Wild Frosty. Way we go. 
So I'm going to assume this is also going to unlock even more uh, thingamajigs, the treasure areas. Moonlight Canyon. Yep, even more treasure areas. Let's go! A uh, ranger treasure. This is regular ranger? It's just a regular ranger. Wait, I see both things. I didn't see that before. Oh, I gotta shoot these. Excuse you. Um, am I supposed to kill all the enemies? I only saw one. Okay, no, there's a second button. There we go. Two buttons. Right to the other side. Stop it. Stop it. More button. Oh, that's it. Cool. That was a nice little ranger challenge. Probably could have done that one if I saw the objective faster. And there's one over here. I didn't see where it went. Uh, it's over here. Uh, crystal needle. A falling needle road. This is very satisfying. Oh. Rip. Kirby, let me move. one did not give you a lot of time. But that was also a very satisfying level to play. Uh, we have blueprints. Before I forget, we have more blueprints. Wild Hammer Blueprint. Very happy that there is hammer upgrades to be had. As much as I like the toy hammer, it doesn't squeak as much as the uh, as a toy hammer should. So, very slow, super powerful. Here's what we need. Oh my goodness, I am stacked. That is just a stone. And there's blood on it. It's purple to be non-distinct uh, blood. But I'm totally calling this blood. This is just a stone. Yeah, if you if you uh have you swung at someone like this uh with with something this uh this heavy and stone like, uh probably would bludgeon them a little bit. Oh, so I should read the thing. This hefty hammer is made from super tough stone. It's too heavy for quick hits, but each powerful swing will deal explosive damage. You'll even crack the ground itself. 
Yes, it does. Okay, so the last level of the world. Moonlight Canyon. Are we gonna get some Sand Canyon remixes in here, or just some new music? There hasn't really been any remixes of stuff in this game, so... No. Really the only use of green greens in this entire game is Kirby's house. Wow, they are just given blueprints, huh? They are just given blueprints. Gonna remove more wanted posters. There's been blueprints in every single level of this world. They don't know where else to put them. Is there only six worlds in this game then? So I hope not. Nice desert saxophone. Well, this is already one of my favorite mechanics, so happy to see more of it. Yeah, you don't think I know how to do that already? There's an entire level based around this mechanic before. You think I wouldn't know that then? There's a other Gordo there. Yes, there is. Pepperoni secret. Well, even if there is actually six worlds instead of eight, like I'm thinking. Um, I don't have time. I mean, I probably would if I wanted the stream to go extra long today, which I don't have to go anywhere tonight. If I wanted the stream to go extra long. Here, hold on. Okay, thank God it respawns. I was like, I feel like I should go over here. Oh, there was nothing. Uh, but by the time we finish this world with this level and then the boss, it'll be 7 o'clock. Which means the three hours of the stream have already passed, because the first hour was dedicated to all the, uh, the side stuff we were doing. Also, hello, Splatoon 3 Hype Train. Welcome to the stream. Oh, see, I wish we had a Splatoon 3 Hype Train, because Nintendo doesn't want to give any information. I saw a tweet the other day of, like, people saying we need more Splatoon 3 information, like, soon because the game comes out in two to four months and we still know not a lot. And then, like, the following day, Nintendo on the, uh, Splatoon, Splatoon 3, or Splatoon Twitter account, the official North American Twitter account we now have, tweeted out, If you don't know what Splatoon is, here is what an inkling is. Here's how you shoot your gun. And I'm like, great, thanks. <laughs> Some people are hypothesizing 
that if they have nothing new to show, the game isn't coming out this year, but I still think it is. I just also sadly think it's going to be the same kind of rushed launch that Splatoon 1 and 2 were. Splatoon uh, 1 was May and Splatoon 2 was July, so June or July, I don't think we'd get another May. There's the last wanted poster. Because I think June is uh, Mario Strikers Battle League. Which I don't know if I'm getting. My hope is that it's not a rushed launch. I don't need that. Not going for it. Because, um... <laughs> sleep traps, huh? It's, the launch of Splatoon 2 didn't even have every main weapon out yet. I'll clear the secret room without falling. Sick. Was that every objective then? What objective I'm missing? <laughs> uh, it also didn't like I'd expect not to have like every weapon kit, but just like every main weapon, because like the octo brush was in the game, but the ink brush wasn't. Like why that? Oh well, sad day. Anything else? They have these side areas, and I feel like there should be something here. Trans rights life ring. Sure. Oh, we're doing this again. Just want to see if there's anything. I can really go all the way over there. <laughs> I still think it's this year. It's fun. Some people want to be pessimistic. I missed a ring, and I probably want to go back for it. If it's not this year, I'm gonna go crazy. I don't want to play Splatoon 2 anymore. Thing here, hold on. Just a thing. Wait. Right. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna go and redo that section. Unless it's back here. Never mind, it's back here. Find the treasure by the cactus triplets. Very specific thing at the very end of the level. Thought it was like get. Every, uh, every ring. Never mind, we're good. Alright, well, all we've got, unless there's more treasure roads that show up, which there probably is, we just have got the boss of the area. Away we go. All 11.
25 wild bees for this. Collector in the Sleepless Valley. It looks like a snail dog. Yep, more treasure roads. See, I knew there was going to be something showing up over there. Let's take these out. Frosty Ice Treasure. Send them over there. Uh. Also, wait, we have more blueprints to do, don't we? I feel like I should do the blueprints after the boss fight because we're going to be going back to Waddle Dee Town after the boss fight anyway. It's for Drill. I don't think we're going to be using Drill during the boss fight. Unless the game, like, physically requires me to use Drill for an objective. Got no more Wild Frosties. I like to stay in the middle and just do this. I'm like moving very awkwardly on this conveyor. I'm gonna die. I have to actually like die in a level in this game yet. And I don't want it to be now. Please obey the the laws of the thing that you're standing on. Hey, we actually did freeze him. Get out of here. You're not even close, but I don't care. Over here. Buzzsaw cutter. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Please stop following me. over the Bronto Burts. Uh, we have things that switch the pathing. Uh, I think it's just this. <laughs> oh, I have to hit two switches. Didn't realize. Um... This works. Oh, that's shenanigans! That's shenanigans! Thank you. Uh, this works. What are you doing? Good, and then... How do I... Yes? Okay, this thing doesn't want to... do things. 
I'm not seeing this at all. Uh, to get that one. Like, I am legit not seeing it. Uh... Does it want me to do something stupid like this? If the buzzsaw would actually fucking go through the thing? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and that's it. The buzzsaws are too big to go through those grates. So it was like being very finicky. Okay, so the World 5 boss, Area 5 boss, whatever you want to call this place. Or or Orange Wasteland. Obviously one of these is don't take damage, so I'm gonna try and do that first. Some tomato. Oh, there's a little dog. Egg dog over here. Uh, homing bomb, hammer, or crystal needle. I'm good. That's a lot of wanted posters. Um. I'll just take some of those down real quick. So what do we got? Oh fuck, that's dark. Fucking like curb, like fake Kirby's hanging from the ceiling, dude. He can't really hang Kirby though, because he's got no neck. But um, that's a fake Elflin. That's fake. It's not real. I said dog, I meant armadillo! Armor plated thing, silly dude! Silly, silly dillo! It's a dog, oh, he's fucking goofy! He's goofing out, dude! He's cracked! Oh wait, three, hit the Kirby's. I gotta hit the Kirby's. There we go. Wreck them. I think I already took damage, so, uh. Did I? I don't know. Okay, well now I took damage. I wasn't expecting him to go twice. I was expecting him to go one time. Now I understand. Then he does this, and then we can charge this up. I don't know what that's supposed to be. This is- Oh, he's, he's got his girlfriend! Spinning around! Okay, well, I was expecting you to not do that. How many of these do you have? Okay, well, just dodge until he does this again. I've got the patterns. I'm say it takes two to tango. Rolling right into you, real quick, though. He's home in on you, and I don't like that. All 
Alright, get out. Well, I know how to do that better now. That's a very unique Kirby boss. I enjoyed that. Uh, defeat Silly Dill with the hammer ability. We got Blizzard Ice, even more blueprints. Uh, so I'm assuming, you know, the next one is clear within a specific time, which we got. So it's just clear without taking damage is the only one we missed. Simple enough. Glad we got the, uh, everything else first try. We can do it, it's fine. Do I plan on to stream three? <laughs> what do you think the answer to that question is? <laughs> the answer is yes, obviously. I am very excited for Splatoon 3, and the moment it comes out, it will be the only game that I stream. I've been playing, like, a handful of Splatoon 2, and, um, like, on and off the last, like, couple weeks, just because I felt like it, not because I wanted to or anything, which is, you know, I just said the same thing twice, but there we go, Volume 3 Machine. Uh, so, you know, it might be the only game that I would actually, like, do a stream at, like, launch for. Because normally, I like, when a game comes out like this, I didn't stream this on the launch second. I streamed this game, like, at my usual streaming time the day it came out. Uh, if I'm still working at my job by the time this game, or Splatoon 3 releases, which I'm going to assume it will be, I will have a copy of- I will be, like, the first person in, like, the whole goddamn state, uh, to buy Splatoon, uh, to get, like, a physical copy of Splatoon 3, because I like getting my games physical. Because with uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, my whole thing at my job is, like, I, I take all the stuff that comes off the trucks, and I put everything out on the store shelves. So I, I got to hold, like, f like 60 copies of Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Legends Arceus before they came out in my hands, and I managed to get one of these. This is a thing they had at Target. Just a little bag of Kirby. So I don't need to pre-order it since I'm going to be able to get a discount. Twin Drill... And Blizzard Ice. Uh, as they are both on the other side of the screen. Twin Drill is better than Pencil Drill, which gives me... Two Drills. Wow. Who would have guessed that it would give me that? Uh, unleash brutal attacks with double the drill power. Your speed and damage are both increased, and you can attack enemies uh, above you while still burring below. Oh, nice. I got a little buzzsaw there, too. Well, Frosty Ice didn't last very long. I'm excited to play it whenever it happens. Obviously, also, the Splatoon 3 test fire, if they actually do one. Also, we can shoot ice crystals. Uh, don a beautiful tiara of ice and become a frigid force of nature. Use this ability to skate around enemies, then stop them cold with a volley of foe for raising icicles. Brrr. Obviously, if the Splatoon 3 test fire does happen, it's, you know, instant stream, because, like, I ha it's during a timed period anyway. Um, so, that too. So, we have more figures we can buy in the collection over here. Uh, but I do want to go check the world map real quick. It's thematic that they do it. I don't know why they wouldn't do it. So is this the last world? Uh, this is seeming like it. Redgar Forbidden Lands. You found a new area. Poor captured Elflin must be farther ahead. I hope, I hope you're okay out there, Elflin. So, um... So I was assuming this game would be on an 8-world structure. It's on a 6-world structure. 
Uh, this just probably has a lot of stuff going on here. Um, wait, search. Well. Uh, so we are not- yeah, this is at the top of Volcano. Okay, so I put in the title of the stream, uh, completing areas 5 and 6 today. Uh, that's obviously not happening. I want to do this all in one go. I don't want to stop. Uh, you know... I don't want to, like, do, like, two levels of this world and then stop and then come back. I'd rather, like, do this all in one sitting. Uh, so what we can do real quick is that... Also, why is it saying... Hold on a second. This says 80... 48 out of 90... Oh, yeah, it's because of this. I forgot, actually. <laughs> Alright, well, we, what we can do is finish this. So let's do that. I'm gonna so be taking damage here. I didn't take damage. Oh my god, I have no idea how I didn't take damage there. I can be rolling these while he's moving around. Oh, please. Please, he's literally one hit. Okay, we got it. <sighs> Here without taking any damage. So it's very interesting that volume three of the figurines is for the last world only. I don't know why they wouldn't give them out in, a uh, World 5. So really the only thing we can do right now is, you know, use the, the gotcha machine. So I'll, I'll spin that a couple times just to see what's there. All while these in or origin, no, original wasteland. I think I finally said it properly. Okay, so there we go. Uh, there's nothing else to do than this. So I'll spin this. We'll spin it 15 times. Because they're all going to be, hopefully, new figures. And uh, just so I'm not, like, time crunching things, I want to finish the game next week. So we can do that. There'll be at least... W I oh, God, it's 50 per... Uh, I don't know if there's any- there's probably other stuff after you beat the game. That, that's typically a thing in, uh, Kirby games, is, like, you beat the game and then you unlock a bunch of extra stuff, so... Uh, I don't- there might be one more stream of Forgotten Land after the next one, I'm not sure, but... Let's see. One time. One. Breakable block. Two. Handmade dance partner. Three. A. Meta Knight. Uh, the mysterious Vortex brought Meta Knight to the New World too. He quickly tasked himself with finding a way back to Popstar until the Beast Pack attacked Waddle Dee Town. The besieged settlement needed protecting, and, the so and a swordsman never ignores a chance to train. I think this is five. Pipe. Six. Sleep. Seven. Handmade Kirby. Eight. Dragonfire. Nine. Pacto. Ten. Attack boost. Eleven. Handmade Elflin. Twelve. Sleep again. Thirteen. Speed boost. Fourteen. And 15. I said I was going to do it 15 times. Stairs. Alright, so how much of the collection is there? Uh, for Volume 3, there's 56 uh, figures in here. So we will get some throughout the next levels. Let's just clear out all of those. Um, uh, I haven't really been finding any other passwords. Has, has there been anything new on the Switch News section for this game? Uh, just the one. 
So there are a bunch of codes. I just don't know where you get them in game. And I don't really want to look them up. I did look up a couple, but that's just because they were like some stuff from the the Kirby Forgotten Land website and clearing the demo and stuff like that. Um, so I, we will get all the figures eventually, but I guess for now I want to stop playing Forgotten Land. Uh, I've still an hour left of what I of like stream time for my stream, so I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Uh, but I guess for now, thank you for watching Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And if you have not done so already, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, because uh, you know this whole Let's Play is going up there. Uh, and if you want to see everything live, twitch.tv slash pokeball35, link in the description, as always, because this is all streamed there, and I stream almost every single day and do stuff there, so subscribe, follow, etc. So I will see you in the next episode.